Get around, sit down, and guys, welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm here for some more uh, games by Freebird Games. Last week we finished up to the moon. This week we're going to be playing Finding Paradise. Now, I'm very excited to play this game, actually, because I love these game stories and this game's capability to do storytelling. So I'm very excited to play this game. I, and I hope you guys are excited to watch because it is a great, they, they do great stories. And I think the people who watched To The Moon really understood how awesome the last game really was. So thank you to everyone who joined. This is the sequel. And I think it's got the same characters as in Eva and Dr. Neil Watts. Oh? Not again. What? What? Not road kill, kill again. Oh no! Oh, 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 shit. Not road kill again. Cool! Ava nearly killed them all. What the fuck, Ava? <laughs> That's a great way to start the game. That's how you keep everyone alive, including the squirrel. Hope you learned something. Look, sometimes it's either us or them. By keeping ourselves alive now, we can be around to stop more self-inflicted critic casualties later. Logic. Enlightening. We should be arriving at the patient soon. I could use a snack before then. Do you mind? Wow, only you would pack the glove box full of apples. Nice. Yeah, well, my nephew doesn't... Oh, decorates the Christmas tree with them every year. With apples? And then I have to eat them for ages. How long can apples last? Apples on a Christmas tree, huh? Don't you dare say it. Don't you mean... Pineapples! <laughs> I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> what a good joke. That was good quality. I liked that a lot. Scripting. Thomas Vestergaard, Jonas Kula, and Ali Restegar. Oh, bully! What a bully! Whose place is this? This is interesting. Here we are. Oh, what's wrong? Whoa! Check out this red bike! Why can't we go to work on these instead? Because we're here to visit dead people, not get ourselves killed. Really? I couldn't tell after the trauma of you driving like a stunt double. Besides, we're visiting half dead people. Very different things. Yeah, well, let's hurry and keep it that way. All yours. Pause. Because I should probably close like this. Oh, I'll keep that going. Can close this. Can close fraps. Can close all of this. Okay, so let's grab our machine. Let's roll. We are back like a cucumber. We're back like a cucumber. What? You know, cucumbers roll. Cucumber rolls, sushi? Yeah, uh, no, that's quite a stretch. Hey, no, I thought it was pretty good. I thought that was a good pun, you know? They keep up the puns quite solidly. So let's have a look at what's going on. Hmm, there's a linking sprinkler over there. Is there or is it just that there's a bear in the pool? Lake thing. Hey now, what happened here? Oh, kid's crying, right? She, she kicked my titty into the water. Potato. Yeah, well, it's a dumb bear. Just like your lame hair. Who looks like that? But Marcy, my bum buns are pretty. Yeah, well, she also named you. She named her potato, so I guess there's that whole thing. Uh, don't worry, we'll get your beer back. Actually, let me take care of this. Why? 
What do you mean, why? I'm telling you, I got this one. Dr. Watts! I love playing with Dr. Watts. Hey! What? Well, uh huh? Is that also hers? No, that's mine, you doofus. What is it? It's the new Rebel Doll X3000. They're cool because they got attitude and don't care. Unlike wimpy teddy bears, they... No way. Oh my god! He also punted it into... Yes! <laughs> Dr. Watts is a savage! Neil, what the jalapeno, jalapeno did you do? What? What do you mean, what? You just took some kid's doll and kicked it into the water. You could get sued for... Yay! <laughs> You're my hero! No props, kid. In your face! Hee <laughs> hee! Oh, she's so happy! This is so messed up. Justice is cold and damp, Ava. I kind of like tuna. She's so happy! Look at her dance! Oh, she's so happy! So you want me to get your teddy back? I don't care anymore! Wow, kids these days are messed up. <laughs> hey, uh, do you want me to get it back? Leave her be. We got more important stuff to do. Well, I think we've done a job well done today. I think we've done everything we need to do here, and I think we can just leave. I don't think we actually need to help them find paradise, I'm assuming, because it's called that. I'm assuming that's kind of our goal. This place looks fancy as hell. Oh, this looks so fancy. Ooh, elevator. Oh, no. Camera? Computer. Hello! Hey there, this is uh, Dr. Rosalind and Dr. Watts from Sigmund. You're actually here. Yeah, hope we're on time. Uh... Um, are you letting us in? I'll wait outside the door for you! What was that? What was what? Did you not feel a blast of ice through the monitor? Well, if she's the patient's spouse, then she's got a dying spouse. It's not like we're here to lay out a picnic. I mean, you're not wrong. Alright, maybe it's just me. Or maybe she's weird. Hello! Hello, dude! Hi! Hello, may I help you with something? We can wait till you sit that down, my box carrying comrade. Thanks, bro. You really get me. Oh, he's made a friend, eh? Do I wait until he's... Oh, he's put it in there. Okay. Hello! Here to fulfill someone's dying wish, huh? How'd you know? This is the second time I've seen a visit from your company this week. Uh, who is it this time? Colin Reeds. Know of him? The retired pilot? Yeah, he lives on the top floor. Go and give him the happy ending he deserves. Probably. Thanks, Dave. Top floor, you say? Let's go. Oh, System Development by Can Gao. Once again, thank you, Can, for an amazing little game you've designed. I'm really excited for this game. I don't know anything about it as well. Okay, so this is an actual elevator. I know nothing about this game. This is all new. Spouses, am I right? Huh? Always make the job so cumbersome. You mean cucumbersome? Ah, uh, see, that's a good one. Depends on the person. Let's, uh, let's have a look and see what we've got up here today. Hello, Sophia. Dr. Rosalind, is it? And Dr. Watts, uh, him? Yes, we have a Colin. Of course. Thank you both for coming. Right this way! Oh, I'm not doing a great voice, but I'll try my best. How you doing? We can talk inside. Colin's waiting! Is Colin a person? They said he's a retired pilot, so he must be a person. Why is she acting so strange? What? Oh? She said. Oh, she said. Act 1. Tell me, what do you want to change? What if he doesn't want to be with her anymore? Oh shit. 
What if that's the story? What if that is what it all comes down to? Huh, this is a quaint place you got here. Colin's in the other room. Come with me. Her voice. Right down to business. I like that. Do you actually? Yeah, because right now I'm just really needing to put this box down. That's fair enough, Mr. Watts. Okay. He must be in here. Colin? Sophia? Oh, there he is. You must be here for my father. I sure I am. Hi. You're the patient's son? Yeah, I came as soon as I heard. Uh, but we can talk later. Why don't you get set up first? That box looks heavy. See, he gets it. Why, thank you. Where's the medical doctor? He's here. He just went to the washroom. Is that table over there enough to get set up? Yeah, that'll do. That'll be perfect. Thank you. Are you guys ready to get settled? Set the machine down. Yeah, just give us a moment. Okay, let's set the machine down and uh, get all set up. Where's the medical doctor? We're closing the curtains now. Okay. I should just open them, but that's fine. Is the power here sufficient? Why does everyone keep asking that? It'll work fine, sheesh. But first, brace yourselves for a power outage of cinematic proportions. I mean, if they've already had this company come here once before, then obviously the power will be enough. Huh. I guess you've got a more stable power grid than our headquarters. That's secretly comforting as it is worrisome. You're in good hands. We do this all the time. Too much of the time, if you ask me. So you two are for real. What do you mean? You can really fulfill his wish? We'll certainly try our best, ma'am. But we always succeed, because... It would only be in his head, though. Not like he'd be able to tell the difference. Anyhow, fess up. What is it that he wants? Do they not know? He wouldn't tell us. He said that it doesn't affect us and we have nothing to worry about. Well, that sounds legit. Look, that's... that's okay. We'll find out from him soon enough. Isn't it also in the paperwork? Yeah, but who reads that stuff? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But seriously, where did the file go? It wasn't in the box? Nope, guess I might have left it in the car. Alright, I guess we got time while the machine's booting up anyway. Who features it? Oh, Dr. Watts. Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock to decide? I'd rather play Logic. You forgot it, so you go get it. The end. Well played, Spock. Well, I'm more than okay as playing as Dr. Watts to get the paper. I've updated the system. It's practically configuring itself now. Oh, there's the doctor. Good, that'll save some time. Already down to business, huh? I think your voice has changed. Hey, I remember you. Yeah, it's been a while. I don't remember her voice, though. Although... Weren't Dr. Winters and Dr. Lin assigned to this patient instead? Yeah, but their rosters were full at the time, so we heroically volunteered. Turned out they got nothing to do today, though. Huh. I guess you never know the timing with the nature of your job. Anyhow, don't mind me. I'm just gonna go check on the patient. So she was here from to the moon, of course. I, I'm just gonna go. Oh, come over here before you head out. I've got something for you. What's up, doctor? Here, this should help. I'm trying to figure out her voice. Remote patient monitor. Oh, thank you. Colin's heart rate monitor is now activated. Press escape or right click to open the menu. Trusty little wireless thing. Just hope it doesn't give me tumors. Cool. 
Sweet. So now I can monitor his heartbeat. Uh, oh. A dusty cello. I should leave the browsing to Ava. She'll have time while I get to the car. Should we go to the bathroom first, though? I feel like we might need to use the washroom. Oh, what's this? Oh, Eva's gonna love this! What is it? What? Is it? Hello? Code 32, Ava! Code 32! Rectify it! No, I don't wanna. Dang, never. I'll be right there. Is it because the toilet paper's not on the toilet paper roll? What's going on? It's called a toilet paper dispenser for a reason! Is she. <laughs> How hard was that? <sighs> and you, shame on you for abusing my OCD. Nice. Well played, Dr. Watts. Eh, she could have used the exercise. Well played, Dr. Watts. Well played. What's through here? Oh, the kitchen. Very nice. Okay, so let's go downstairs. Uh, let's go to the car and get the... Ooh. Press Q or mouse click to switch between characters. What if I don't want to? What if I like playing as Dr. Watts? Interesting, though. That's cool that you can kind of play as both. Oh, the little kid got a teddy bear back. Huh, you got your bear back. Yep, a nice lady in a brown dress swooped onto the pond and got it for me. Swooped? Yeah, she didn't even touch the water. You should lay off the sugar, kid, and good for your head. Huh, lady in a brown dress, huh? Hey, you, uh, how you doing? Done already. He didn't die on you, did he? No, she's who hired you. I mean, he's not supposed to know what happened. He's not supposed to know that you need paperwork or not. He's just a... He's just a little dude. I wonder if that other girl's... Oh, who are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? Who's dying, dear? Uh, excuse me, ma'am? That coat and tag, you are from Sigmund. If you're here, then someone's time is up. Uh, Colin Reeds, do you know him? Oh, I see. He and his wife used to stroll with my husband and me every here every day. Please do your best for him, dear. Uh, you sound awfully calm about it. If I were your friend, I'd be worried. After years of seeing around you go, it's hard not to be. Uh, but then, you of all people should know that well. You're right, I know it very well. Um, I guess we've got to go to the car. And get a piece of paper that we need. Which we can most certainly do. Uh, must be somewhere here in the car. I love unlocking cars. And what do we got? Have you found it yet? Come on, Watts. Come on, Watson. Dang, Nabbit, did I leave it at the office? Ava. Oh. Hello. Rox, it's me. Neil, still hiding your caller ID? <laughs> Getting calls from unknown feels like I'm in a horror movie, you know. My bad, I'll turn it off next time. No, I love the suspense. Every time I'm like, am I getting cursed? Are the fits coming after me? The excitements are endless. Um, alrighty, anyways. Oh, look, are you still at the office? I think I left the patient's file on the printer. Oh, okie dokie, pokey loki. Just give me a moment. Huh. What a strange lady. Hey, you got the file. Ava, I think I forgot it back at... You what? Don't worry. I called Roxanne. She's going to find it and send over a scan. Okay, just take care of it. Oh, I will. Mm. 
Did you find it, Rox? Yep, it was just sitting on your table after all. Great, scan it and... Wait, my table? You're in my room. Yep, you asked me to get the files right. I mean from the printer in the lobby. How did you get into my room anyway? I locked it. Oh, a girl's got her ways. Okay, look, just get out of there and send me a scan, would ya? And don't touch anything, I just organized it. Yep, yep, on it. Do I have to play as her or are we just watching? She's gonna touch something. She's gonna... Huh? You rock. What the? Whoa! What? 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 Dr. Watts, what are you doing? You guys got everything else you need? Yeah, Ava's configuring the machine right now. How's the weather out there? What? Is it nice? Uh, is it out nice out for a drive? I I guess so. Neato. I think I'll just come over and get you the file in person then. What? Why? Just scan it and send over a copy. Well, we've got no patience today, and it's boring over here anyway. Anyhow, don't worry. I'll get there before you guys are done. See you both then. Wait, rocks. Ah, dag nabbit. So I guess we've got to wait for Roxanne to arrive. And probably during that time we can play as Ava. Or maybe I've just messed up and I, I'm not going to get any Ava exploring done. Nope, here we go. Neil wasn't kidding. This thing really is configuring itself. It does that now. Yeah, apparently the new paint isn't the only upgrade. I guess that means I get some time to snoop around the house. Cool. In the meantime, I'll go monitor the patient like a real doctor. I kid, I kid. Interesting. So she's going to monitor the patient. Meanwhile, I should probably adventure around. But for now, guys, that is where we're going to leave it for this episode. Yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Guys, reminder, 25 likes is our new like goal that we've set on this video. If you guys hit that 25 likes, then uh, it, for every video of the week, then on Monday at some time during the day, maybe 10 a.m., maybe later, we will just make it work. I will be playing games with you, uh, depending on what you guys want to play, whether we want to do some Scribble I.O. or some Town of Salem or something like that. So I hope you guys get to liking these videos. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I make. Stay safe, fam. See ya!